So I want to show you guys the voltage amplification that the cap track gives off. It's a very simple setup. No hidden wires anywhere. It's all transparent. The negative of the battery goes to the case. It's clipped on. And the positive of the capacitor goes to the positive of the battery. So normally when you hook up a, a capacitor up to a battery, the capacitor will fill up to the same voltage that's in the battery. And then once it's full, it becomes open circuit and shuts off. So I'm going to show you guys what's inside this battery right now. 1.302. And now I'm going to show you guys amplification. And all I'm going to do is take my negative... Uh, probe right here to my meter and hook it up to the negative of the capacitor. So, let you guys see that. One point four five nine. And show you the voltage that's inside the battery again. One point three zero two. And that is in the 2 volt setting. And once again, the power that's in the uh, capacitor itself. Oh, yeah, you guys might find it surprising. It's also building up, too. So, not only is the voltage in the cap tret higher than the. Um, not only is it higher, it's also going up. It's very slowly, though. So, voltage inside of the battery. Yeah, I kind of find it weird because you only got 1.32 volts. Where are these extra volts coming from? It's like it doesn't have boundaries for charging, charging itself like a normal capacitor would. And that's the battery. That's what's in the cap tret. And no hidden wires, no extra batteries. It's all transparent. So that's the amplification that the cap track gives us. And the simple setup for you guys one more time. The negative of the battery goes to this alligator clip to the case, just clipped on. Then the positive of the capacitor goes to the positive of the battery. Then I check the battery voltage right here. Then I check amplification I go right there hold it and there we go couldn't be any more simpler